what's up guys it's electricity wave here and I am back with another video today I'm gonna show you how to main wraith the ultimate guide I'm gonna give you guys tips and tricks and all the information that I could find on this apex legend now wraith she is known as the interdimensional skirmisher and we're gonna go through all her abilities and her play style and what you can use to what kind of knowledge you can use to take advantage of her abilities and be a better wraith to help your squad get the dubski um, we're gonna start off with her tactical it's called into the void basically what it does is it repositions you quickly through the safety of the void space avoiding all damage so basically what when you when you use race tactical what it does Phasing. she grabs her fists and it gets it turns into this like like purple and black like type screen where i don't know it just looks like you're in a different dimension and that's pretty much you're into the void she can't take any damage and it really helps out it's a nice get out of jail free card when say you're in a fight or you're looting and then you run into a full squad and your team isn't with you you can use your tactical to go back to your squad and regroup and prepare for the fight and uh it's, it's really nice just to play it for defensive and, and escape using this tactical also doesn't take explosive damage from an arc star if someone sticks sticks you with the arc star you do take the initial damage from the arc star sticking your body but then once you use the tactical the arc star drops you don't take any explosive damage as long as you leave that area so that that's something nice to know uh anytime there's any alt or explosive or anybody shooting at you once you use her tactical you don't take any damage it's one of the it's one of the best tacticals in the game the cooldown for it's about 35 seconds i believe her passive is called voices from the void what you do what happens is you hear a voice when danger approaches uh as far as you can tell it's on your side is the explanation the description basically if someone's aiming at you with a sniper or any type of gun uh smg ar lmg shotgun pistol if someone's aiming at you she basically tells you that someone's aiming at you and there's danger so you want to get out of that area so say you're you're going around a corner and then you hear the voices within your head then it's i mean it's key to get the fuck out it's key to get the hell out of there so that one's really nice to use race ultimate is called the dimensional rift what it does is it links two locations with portals for 60 seconds it stays up 60 seconds that you or your teammates or enemies can use and the cooldown is about 150 seconds to recharge that. So I'm going to show you guys what that is like in this firing range. So you press T. Placing a portal. And it shows your rift energy right here. Go down from 100%. And you can climb stuff. You can take zip lines. You can take it all the way over here on top of this rock and go into a hiding spot. And you can end it with T. Portal placed. And see it over there? Portal here. Take it all the way back. It's... It's great for rotating. It's great for uh, helping teammates that are downed. It's hel it helps for taking better f position. It helps to push aggressively to get shots and to come back and say if you need to get healed or you feel pressured. I know a lot of times when I'm running with my squad, the Wraith will push. They'll try to get some shots. If they get in trouble, they'll come back. Another great idea for the portal is if a Gibby throws down a dome, the shield dome, you can rift into there and then the teammates are kind of like caught off guard because they didn't see you coming and you can maybe throw a grenade in the portal or start shooting them and then come back and uh you can use the ult for a lot of different things for for baiting people getting for difficult rotations at the end of a game say you got to go around a canyon or a mountain there's only one way you could go but since you have a wraith you can go into the storm and go around if it's if it's not a long distance and maybe she can use her tactical to not take damage there's just different ways you can take advantage of using her ult it's really helpful for, for rotating if you're in a building, if you're stuck in between like an ult or something. She does take damage while she's in it, so you might want to combine it with your tactical into the void. Uh, when using um, when using Wraith, you definitely want to use uh, close range weapons, uh, especially if you're, if you're playing aggressive with their portals. If you go into a Gibby bubble or if you go into a building, then you can portal right next to them, shotgun them, and then come back. Uh, you can bait people with traps and throw grenades, like thermites, into the one. So then if they come through, a lot of times other teams don't take Wraith portals because they don't know exactly where it goes to. There could be a full team waiting, just aiming at the portal. Uh, there could be a Watson trap. There could be a Caustic trap. There's so many th different things that prevent people going through those unless they can see the end. Uh, Wraith is a, she has a low profile, which means she's more difficult to hit. 
and her incoming damage is increased by 5%. Her hitbox is about 33 square centimeters and she runs like the anime Naruto, like a Naruto-esque running animation that makes her one of the hardest legends to hit because she's so small, her hitbox is small, and, and the way she like leans over and runs. She's a, she's a great character to use defensively because one, she's hard to hit, and two, she has Into the Void, and she can portal. There's so many different things that Wraith can do to get out of it and just uh, use for movement and that type of playstyle. But yeah, the best, I'd say the best play for Wraith for a team play is to use her portal to rotate. Say you're stuck in a building or you have nowhere to rotate and you want to kind of get through all of the chaos. Uh, her ult is the best to use. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, Wraith is a really fun character to use. She's one of the most used character, if not the most used character in Apex Legends. So a lot of people main her, but hopefully you guys learned something, a new trick to use, maybe a new strategy to use with Wraith. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Suggest any other videos that you guys want me to go over, whether it goes to weapons, or strategy in Apex, or rotations, or any type of landing technique, or anything you guys want to know, I can do research, or use my own knowledge, or combine everything I know, and try to make more videos to help you guys out with any questions you may have, especially with combinations of characters, or anything in the advanced area. Uh, these videos are mostly made to help beginners, or people who have never mained these characters, but sometimes the intermediate or advanced uh, people that play can pick something up from these videos hopefully i hope you guys enjoyed make sure uh like i said if you support the channel it helps out a lot I also stream on twitch at twitch.tv slash electricity wave all the socials twitter instagram tiktok everything is in the description if you want to follow me there i appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you get some more dubs in apex thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace Got him. there's one in Just the aesthetic of this game is sick too. Oh my god!